Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I'm going to show you how I made this Pokemon themed dice box and dice set. I absolutely love, love, love the way that this turned out but let me tell you, this for me personally was a bit of a struggle and it's through no fault of the moulds at all. It was just me just getting upset with stuff, okay? so. <laughs> What you're seeing here is my best attempt, but I am so, so happy with the way that this all turned out and I can't wait to talk you through the process. Now the moulds in this video are from the Sophie and Toffee August Elves box, so make sure that you definitely do check out their website in the description box below so that you can see when they release them for individual purchase. So as you can tell from the title, this entire set is all based on the evolutions. okay? Now, I was at first having a bit of a hard time trying to figure out how I was gonna fit eight different evolutions into a box that only held seven dice, but I managed to get around that. I decided to theme the entire box around Sylvian because she is my fairy girl, okay? And I absolutely love, love, love her colors. So she took up the entire box. I got this beautiful Eevee sticker on Etsy. I will leave a link in the description box below if um, if the seller is actually still selling this particular one. Um, I just thought it was so, so cute and I thought it would be a perfect representation of Eevee. I've always loved Eevee. Vaporeon is my favorite Pokemon, but obviously she comes from Eevee. So, you know, we have to show love and respect. <laughs> Now, initially, I actually wanted to have Evie's face facing upward on the lid of the dice box, but I kind of went into autopilot mode and just put her face down in the resin. And I didn't realize that this was not going to be how I wanted it until I actually demolded it. You know, sometimes when you're just not quite thinking, yeah, but it's okay. It didn't matter because I actually found a way around it and I kind of prefer the way that this actually turned out. Okay, on to the dice. Now, I just wanna say, first and foremost, I absolutely love these new molds. I think that they're brilliant. I love the fact that there is a tiny little notch on the lids to show you exactly where you need to place it on the second part of the mold so that it stays in nice and tight. And you don't have to like fully push the lid down either. You just sort of gently place it on, cure it, and then it's done. I really, really do like these molds. I think that when it comes to pushing them out, that it's really, really simple. A lot of people had problems like pushing out like the D20 uh, die in, in like their previous mold that they had, but these are so, so simple. So I just wanted to show some praise for that. I really struggled though with just, I think I was trying to be too perfect. Let's be honest. Like I was, I was trying to be too, too perfect. Like when it came to um, actually inking them with some paint, I couldn't stop getting like paint smearing all over the dye and it was making it look really, really cloudy. And I couldn't understand why. And I just kept on doing it again and again and again. And oh my goodness, I struggled so, so much. And then I realized that when it came to inking it, I still had my gloves on, which were probably still tacky with little bits of resin. And I was putting that back onto the die and then trying to like put the paint in the numbers and then wipe it off. And naturally it's gonna stick to the die, but I didn't realize this until like my third time trying. So once I'd finished like crying a river, I realized I needed to demold them and ink them with the gloves off because sometimes you just need to have your sense of touch so you know what you're actually dealing with. So there's that. Another thing that I um, had a couple of issues with was uh, having bubbles. I mean, it's almost impossible to not have bubbles whenever you're doing dice, um, especially if you don't have like a pressure pot or something like that. I'm using UV resin in these, by the way, not epoxy resin. So what I did, I got an eye pin and I just made sure that I tried to get rid of as many bubbles around the numbers as possible. And I found that that actually really, really did help because it's not cute when you have bubbles in your numbers because then when it comes to inking it, it makes it look really, really obvious. So yeah, definitely do try that. Also, because this one here, this is me doing Umbreon at the moment. 
Because it's jet black, you've got to cure that in layers. The rest of them I didn't have to cure in layers, but that one I did because like black is black and it takes a long time for the light to actually try to pass through. So if you're gonna do any dice in black and you're using UV resin, definitely do make sure that you are curing it in thin layers. Now I'm fully aware that that was a hell of a lot of information for you to try and digest. So I'm gonna just sit back for a second and let you enjoy this little demolding compilation just so you can see how nicely that they turned out. Okay, so now that all the dice have been demolded and I've stopped staring at them because like I just kind of fell in love with them. <laughs> um, I then clipped off all of the excess pieces and then sanded them down. I saw somebody online who like wet the sandpaper a little bit and sort of sanded them down that way. Yeah, I didn't really have much sandpaper at all. So please don't laugh at the fact that I'm literally using scraps of sandpaper here. But you know, your girl did not have all the tools that she needed. I literally had two different grits of sandpaper but it still came out fairly smooth so you know that's all good now when it came to oh my gosh i just love the way that they look okay when it came to actually inking them um this is the gold paint that came in the box um and initially i did them all in gold and then i showed them to my husband and he was like yeah they look nice but it will be better if you actually inked each one in correspondence with what the pokemon actually looked like so like for well in this instance this is perfectly fine because Umbreon is like black and yellow or black and gold so that was perfectly fine but Vaporeon you know I decided to do it with the white ink uh, Glaceon had a nice sort of teal colored ink Espeon had red ink to represent the red dot in the middle of her forehead stuff like that because then when you see it you know straight away straight straight away you know straight away which dye belongs to which Pokemon um, so yeah, I'm actually quite grateful that he gave me that idea because I do think that it does look better. Okay, I hope that you're as happy with the way that these turned out as I am because my goodness, when I pulled this box out of the mold, I was so elated. Look at how gorgeous that these colors are. Seriously, Sylvian would be so, so proud. <laughs> so anyway, when it came to demolding the lid, I, I, at this point, I still hadn't even realized that I made a mistake. This was when I looked at it and thought, ah, her face should have been facing upwards on the lid. But then I thought, hold on, that would mean that the inside wouldn't look as great. So maybe this is just a blessing in disguise. I decided to just dome the inside. And then when I'd added in the magnets, which by the way are very, very strong and I was very impressed. Um, after I did that, I simply turned it over. I added in some UV resin in white, pink and blue. Then I got to do what I wanted in the first place, which was to make a Sylvian themed die. And that just became my handle because I just popped it on the top and cured that. 
and it worked perfectly. Have a look at this. And there we have it, my darlings. My Evolutions dice box set is complete. I don't even play any games which require me to have this, but I don't care. I absolutely love it. I am so, so thrilled with the way that it turned out. I actually couldn't be happier. It was well worth all of the tears that were shed. <laughs> I do hope that you enjoyed this craft as much as I did and I hope it gave you some inspiration too. If you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. And of course, please do share this video out with a friend if it made you smile. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.